Hey guys, Glenn here. Um, doing a short little video here. Okay, here's my Aaron's Toro Snowblower. My E26, 26 inch battery powered 60 volt um, force flex snowblower. And I made one change to it for now. I got something else I'm gonna try and do too, but um, this cheap, the um, tool they give you clearing out the chute, right? If you get snow clogged, Here's what they give you, right? They give you this thing. Well, if I um, push down on this, it bends real easy. You're going to end up snapping that thing right off. So, as a guy owning a previous snowblower before this, I owned an Aaron's, and Aaron's sells their shovel, their chute cleaning tool. Um, you can buy that, so I did buy it, and... I mounted it right here on the front of my Toro snowblower, and I can just pull it right off. Nice, as you can see, nice, thick, round, heavy tool. I am all set. And I just push that right down, get it in the right spot. Let's get it the other way. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. So, there's my Aaron's shoe cleaning tool for my Toro E26 26 inch 60 volt battery powered snowblower and that's all I wanted to say and the other thing I'm going to try and do is the headlight up here um plugs in the back and what they should have they're going to switch up here for your heated hand grips why couldn't they give me a switch to turn the headlight on and off because I'd like to try and save battery power if I'm using this thing out in the daylight, you know, and I'm snowblowing. I don't need a headlight during the day. So I'm going to see if there's any way I can figure out a way to wire in a switch to turn that headlight on and off. And so that's going to do it. All right. See you guys.